Welcome to a chilly morning in North Carolina. Um, if you're clicking on this video, you are wondering about solving the problems you're having with your Canon wireless printer. Model TS3522. Well, <clears throat> there's a number of things you can try and none of them worked for me and I was starting to go crazy. I have the Wi-Fi written out and I have the password and all and all of that looks good. Uh, you know, if you follow through like a normal person, you're going to read the directions, then you're going to try to do it with the directions beside you. And uh, as you get closer and closer to actually finishing, you're going to encounter a problem if you're like me. The problem is I had my Wi-Fi and I had the password. But it doesn't show the Wi-Fi that I named my Wi-Fi. It shows the Wi-Fi as it originally was. Which, having been here over a year and having had it personally set up by my girlfriend, it it's named different, and I know it's named different. And it was never reset. So, what's going on here? If you're having this problem too, as it turns out, it will not acknowledge the password you put in that is in fact correct. Now, what does this mean? Doesn't really mean much of anything. Canon, for some reason, either has this as a older model or had no foresight at the time. That's not really an insult because you can't foresee future issues in the past. Um, what actually is happening inside the computer, the laptop, and the Wi-Fi is very simple. It's, it's hard to really explain, but it's very simple. So I'm going to make an attempt to show you why your wireless printer will not work on your Wi-Fi. And I'm going to try to use a couple of horribly drawn little mnemonic devices to help you understand which I still don't completely understand myself but if you can understand better then that's better for everyone right so I'm not gonna draw everything as is but I'm gonna make the attempt anyway to be just a little detailed I don't want to come across as an ass hat, you know what I mean? But anyway, okay. So what's happening is, and, and this is something, it, I did find this, but it took me a while to look it up. Your printer only does 2.5 gigahertz internet. <coughs> Why it doesn't do Bluetooth, fuck if I know. Why it doesn't do 5, I don't know. Why 2.5 can't be done by the router that does 5, I don't know. Laptops, apparently, can handle any internet provided to them. I, I suggest that because at the time that I bought my laptop, I didn't have 5G internet. But, it's handling 5G internet just fine. Although the printer is not. The router that I have, the Spectrum Internet that we have with T-Mobile. I'm not sure what kind of Internet we have, but it is with T-Mobile and it's 5G's. And the 5G Internet has this very specific wavelength. And as you see, I've kind of drawn the laptop with a similar big wavelength. 5G is twice as much data faster. Then I have it, you know, showing little, little G's, smaller signal, and the printers showing smaller signal. Um, <clears throat> I actually can draw, for those of you who are wondering. I just thought I'd sketch it out really, really little. Um, so, what you're getting is the, the printer can see the internet, but it can't get the information from the internet. And the laptop can communicate with the printer, but the printer even though it's communicating with the laptop, it has to be set up with the Wi-Fi. Which is strange because they're already communicating. Because you're setting it up from the laptop 
without a connection. It's a wireless connection that's set up wirelessly before it's even signed on to the Wi-Fi. So, that's why you can't use your Canon uh, printer wirelessly, even though it's a wireless computer. You're going to have to get the USB printer plug and plug it in manually and go back into the uh, printer setup and set it up as a wired USB setup. I hate that. I hate that for y'all. I hate that for me. And trust me, I did not like the fact that I have spent <laughs> almost 14 hours staring at this thing. I'm miserable. I am tired. I am going to bed. But this is why the brand new computer that, yeah, well, the brand new computer and the brand new laptop, uh, brand new printer will not communicate 100% and finish the setup. And if you've been wondering, that's the problem. Because <clears throat> if you go through the, the guide and all, it doesn't say a number of things. Like the fact that it does not come with the USB plug. The $15 cheaper one at Walmart does come with the plug, but doesn't offer Wi-Fi. And you, like me, said, well, we have Wi-Fi at the house. We want to be able to print from phones, laptops, tablets, desktops. We'll just we'll just get the Wi-Fi one. They didn't put anywhere on the box that it doesn't do 5G internet, which is the future internet. It's you know, we're always progressing and moving forward. This is an outdate dinosaur, technically. I could use this at my neighbor's house. If I had their passwords, I could sign it on from here, and then I'd be just fine. But they'd be printing off random shit going, huh, where's this this printer at? And hitting the print button, to, and I'd get a bunch of shit here, and they'd have no clue what was going on. Anyway, it doesn't mention much of anywhere. I, I haven't seen where it says that it can't handle 5G, but that's the problem. And uh, on the internet, going through the actual Canon website, just page after page, help this, help that, tried to s submit a help ticket, there doesn't seem to be very much uh, help there. <clears throat> Matter of fact, if you look for TS3500, when you're doing the setup, that doesn't exist anymore on their page. It has to be listed as the TS3522, which is printed on the box. And an inner, inner flap in the cardboard box, but not on the manual that they give you, which is where you would go for the technical information. Now, fortunately, I did notice that it has a different model number on the actual printing, printed on the plastic top of the printer. That's a lot of word print. One word, uh, one sentence. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't mean to ramble. Just thought I would label this video TS3522 Connection Setup Problems. And if you've seen this, I apologize for how I look. But again, I've been spending actually longer on this than I do with my 12-hour shifts working to try to get this printer going and nothing has been working so that is the answer that I came up with is that your internet is too fast <laughs> it's not a helpful answer but if you have a backup internet that is at 2.5 gigahertz try again with that one or use the USB or call your internet service provider and see about downgrading that may only be an option for you if if you have reached certain periods in your agreement and it may not be an option if you have one of those gamers sitting around your house that needs high-speed internet but here at my house the 5g doesn't half work anyway so that's what I would do if I was at the appropriate portion of my agreed uh, one-year lease or, or agreement thing with the internet is I would just call them back and go, look, it's about time to renew. I don't want 5G. I want 2.5G because I want my internet to work with the things that are in my house. Now, 
I do blame Canon for this though, because Xbox works fine with the 5G. Laptops, all four of them, work fine with the 5G. The tablets around the house, all three of them, work fine with the 5G. The cell phones with the, in the house, all of them work fine with the 5G. Only the printer has a problem, which means only the printer has been designed not to handle 5G, which would suggest that it wasn't just made before 5G. It was made with ignorance that there wouldn't be higher bandwidth in the future. But me bitching doesn't make it any better. You're going to have to either have 2.5 gigahertz internet speed or internet, whatever the term for the 2.5 is, or you're going to have to have a USB plug. And you have to buy them elsewhere because the model you bought, just like me, doesn't come with it. And I had been wondering during all of this bullcrap why they don't give you the USB and you use the USB to set up the internet. Because wouldn't it be easier to connect to something that's not on your internet by directly linking it to a laptop and telling it, hey, here's the internet, here's the password, as opposed to trying to use wireless internet to connect to something that's not on wireless internet. Does that make sense? I can't connect to my microwave that's not on the internet. So, like, the fuck? But, anywho, anywho, if Canon, the printer company, was listening, and I had one criticism, it would be that. They, they need to allow for 5G... 5G and they don't print on their box that they don't. They need to state what kind of internets they can handle. And with that, they need to be probably more open to setup being done with the USB connection. Because everything is going wireless, but some of us still grew up with rotary phones in the house. And not that rotary phones were a thing in my lifetime, but my parents had one because my grandparents had one and they were refusing to get rid of it because they didn't like the mobile phones. So I actually grew up, I, I had a Razor flip phone and my parents had a home phone that was in fact a rotary flip phone, a, a, a rotary phone and I had a flip phone and I experienced the big change going digital and it seems like some problems are just being created by going further into technology. So that that was that was your problem, and your solution is to get slower internet. Uh, feel free that if you've come across this problem already, uh, to give an example of how you managed to find a workaround. I did Google. 5 gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz network adapter and apparently no one's done that. I figured someone in their basement would have created one to retrograde uh, an internet signal to provide something for these ancient monstrosities to be able to communicate with the rest of the house but apparently they haven't and I guess that's okay but I tried. If, if you've come up with a solution for that, then please let me know uh, in the comments below. It'd be greatly helpful for me and anyone reading your comment in the future. And uh, I hope that y'all have a great day out there. Uh, and feel free to watch more of my videos. I most likely won't be wearing this, but it's 30 degrees. There's, you know, two heaters in the house, and I just don't feel like freezing. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll let you go. Bye.